Lindsay here, and welcome to our Facebook series. This is where I'm going to walk you through what you need to do to set up your Facebook ads. So the first part of what we're going to discuss is the most important part, and you should not start running ads until you have done this step and set up your Facebook pixel. Um, without the Facebook pixel, you are not going to be able to create targeted audience. You're not going to be able to get data on your ads. So this is the first step of what you want to do before you start running any campaigns. So I am going to walk you through exactly how to install your Facebook pixel, make sure that it has the proper event set up, and that way we will be on our way to starting some Facebook ads. So what I'm going to do is I am going to share my screen with you guys and walk you step by step through exactly how to install the Facebook pixel on your website. All right, you guys, welcome. I am going to quickly walk you through how to install your Facebook pixel. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure that you're logged into your Shopify dashboard and then you want to look down under your sales channels and make sure that you have the Facebook sales channel installed. So if you already have this here, great. If you do not, you would go ahead and just click on this plus sign. And once this opens up, you would go through the list and find Facebook and then go ahead and just hit the plus sign and follow the prompts. I've already installed it, so it's not an option here. Um, if you have not installed it, then you will be able to select it from this menu. All right, so once you see Facebook down here, we are good to go and move on to the next step. So what you are going to do is head over to your online store Go ahead and give it a click and then scroll down to preferences. And then what we are going to want to do is scroll down in this menu until you find the Facebook pixel section. And then pretty simple, you guys, you're just going to follow the prompts and hit the set up Facebook button. All right, while it's loading, loading, loading. All right, so now when this opens up, we are going to go step by step through here. And the first one we're gonna click is connect account. This is going to have you log in to your Facebook account. So if you happen to have more than one Facebook account, you wanna make sure that you are logging into the one that is integrated with your business manager for your business. So I will go ahead and sign in here. And then it's doing its little magic here behind the scenes and pulling in data from my business manager. So the next thing you would wanna do is find your business from the selections here. I have a few different ones, um, but I am going to demonstrate with my e-commerce store right here exactly how to set this up. So you would select your business and then click connect. And once it connects to your business, it's going to pull in ad accounts that you have already linked to your business page. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ad account that I know is integrated with my business manager. So I've named it easily right here so I can recognize it. Go ahead and click connect. And then lastly, it's going to bring up the pages that are associated with your business manager. So you are going to go ahead and again, select the page that is for your business that we are going to be installing the pixel for. Okay, almost every time I do this, this little network error comes up and it seems like it's doing nothing. So if that happens to you, what you're going to want to do after you click the connect, you get a little error, it seems like, okay, it should be doing something, but it's not. Go ahead and just refresh your browser. I don't know why it's like a little bug that's been happening lately. Um, so we'll just do this little step. And then as you can see, it did go ahead and link that page that we were trying to add. Um, and then you'll notice this new little um, menu item that says data sharing popped up. 
And you want to go ahead and click on that um, because this is basically what information your website is going to share with Facebook. So you want to make sure to select maximum and then you will see that there is a pixel now created for you. We can go ahead and click down on details. This just kind of shows you basic information. Um, if there's anything you wanted to update or change, then we would go over and manage that on Facebook, which is the next step I'm going to show you anyhow. Um, but you could get there from within Shopify. I'm going to show you how to go. Um, excuse me. Uh, once we finish this last, these last few steps, I'm going to take you over to Facebook. So we are going to select our target country, which I am located in the United States. So we will scroll down here. Of course, if you're out of the United States, you would select your country. And then it populates the terms and conditions, and then you just hit finish setup. So pretty easy breezy through that step, you guys. And then it's going to start going on to all kinds of different things, make products available to Facebook. This is something that you would continue setting up um, on your own at a later date. You can set up your Facebook shop and your Instagram shop, which I highly recommend doing if you have not. But for the sake of this, we are strictly talking about the pixel. So what we want to do next is go ahead and go over to your business manager. Um, you can get there by just typing in business.facebook.com and then it should take you to this screen here. Go ahead and go down to this more tools menu and then you're going to want to find where it says events manager and then go ahead and click on that. And let it load and load and load. I think I need a faster internet or something, guys. All right. So it's going to bring up um, the area where your Facebook pixel is installed within the Facebook platform, which is the events manager. And just think events manager, you have these actions that are being taken on your website, like people clicking on buttons, viewing content, adding to cart, purchasing. Those are called events in the Facebook world. So when you log in, you should see your pixel that you created just steps ago showing up over here. It's probably going to have like a default name that says ads pixel for shop Shopify Facebook ad, um, you can go ahead and change that right here. And I would suggest changing it to something that you're going to recognize, like naming it your business name and then pixel. So in the event that you accidentally create another pixel or you, for whatever reason, you just don't get them confused. So you can go ahead and change that name by just clicking on the little pencil. And then what we are going to want to do, since your pixel's new, you probably will not be seeing data here like this. It may look, let me go to one that is not set up. Yours probably is going to look something like this here because it's brand new. But once your pixel starts getting data, you will see here, let me hide my face again a little bit more you will see all of these different triggers. These are actions that are being taken on your website and that is what is gonna help you when you're creating your Facebook ads and help Facebook figure out how to best optimize your campaigns. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click on settings just to make sure that everything in our pixel is set up properly. You're gonna go ahead and scroll down and you want to make sure that this automatic advanced matching button is selected to on. And then you're going to hit this little menu right here that says show options. And we are going to make sure that all of these are selected to on as well. And then go down just a little bit more and then make sure here that this track events automatically without code that this button is also selected to on. And then the next step, just to ensure that everything is installed and working properly, you're going to want to go ahead and click on test events. 
and Facebook is going to prompt you on what to test. So you're going to go to this test browser events and we want to type in our website name. And then what Facebook is going to do, it's going to open this website in another window. As you can see here. And you can click around your site. Um, I will scroll down here and just click on something. Just to give it a little bit of data so that when we go back, it should start showing that events are being triggered. And then you'll see here that it's saying page views process, processed. So it, it knows that my pixel is now linked with my Facebook account and getting data. All right, guys, so hopefully this helped you. And once this step is completed, you are able to start setting up campaigns and those will be in our next video. I'm going to log back in and walk you through exactly how to start setting up campaigns so you can start advertising your store and getting that traffic. All right, see you in the next video.